What's going on my fellow residents, it's me the Frozen Cavern, and today we're going to continue through our journey through Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. In the last episode, we went to the Land of Dragons, and we have now gotten a hint of Riku's presence. He is somewhere in the universe, which is kind of vague. But in this episode, we're going to be going into Beast Castle. And goodness, the boss for this world is very, very difficult to get through. You'll find out why. Relatively shortly. Tonight goes well. So do I. But I wonder why he's so nervous. The master does have his shy side, you know. Hey there. No heartless and no nobodies. I think they're close though. Better watch out. And now we just talked to him. Did we get anything? Uh, Goofy got an ability, so it's a limit though. I don't really use his limits, but uh, actually, actually no. I think this one will actually be better for the uh little fight that's coming up in a little bit. What are you so mad about? Why are you here? The nobody's, yeah, the nobody's world, not wood, has to be out there somewhere. We're looking for a way in. Hmm. Tonight is very important. By the way, again, this scene looks amazing in 60 frames. I don't know why, there's just particular scenes that look really, really fluent, but other ones, they don't look as fluent. I don't know why. Because I don't remember any world, well, us being here at like the beginning of the game and any of the scenes looking just as good. Monsieur, Mademoiselle, please enjoy the evening. And of course, our honored guests are welcome too. A uh, welcome indeed. The organization! You don't know when to quit. Oh, yeah, we'll show ya. Get out! Not tonight. I've come to take something you hold very dear. Yes, let your anger grow. Beast, we have to get rid of these guys first. So yeah, now we have Beast on our side again. And by the way, I made a voice acting video of the guy in the organization cloak there. I'm not going to say his name. I don't think it's ever been said yet, so I'm not going to... Well, eh, it doesn't matter too much, but I just don't feel like saying it yet. Well, actually... No, I'm pretty sure it was mentioned earlier. So, Zalden, I'll just say that. But... I remember doing a voice acting video where I did an impression of him two years ago, probably. <laughs> like, and I feel like I did pretty good on it. It doesn't, it might not sound exactly like him, but I feel like I did pretty good. I'll try and leave it in the description, or at least at the end of the video. Or the outro, I mean. Where's Bell? Over here. Yeah, they all just hit out on the balcony. Okay, she's, well, okay, she's safe or whatever. Guess Alden didn't take anything after all. 
What's wrong? There is one other thing. What's with them? Maybe Bell isn't the only thing precious to the beast. Come on. Alright, yeah, for that short amount of time that beast was there and he's just gone. <laughs> that's that's very fun. Let's just go. Because we kinda have an idea of where to go. If I could just remember which hallway it's on, because that's always one thing I have a problem with trying to go through this uh, world and why did that not work? Okay. But that's always one thing I have a problem with going through this world, is that I don't really remember which hall it's on. I think it's on the left hall from here. So, yeah, it's not the one with uh, Bell's room. Bell's room is on the other side. I just have to try and remember that. It's harder for me to remember that than you might think. I don't know why it is either, because both sides are pretty indistinguishable. So, oh, there was another one. And Neo shot us as well. Get over here. Should not get into the ground. You spun for a long time, and I don't know why. Uh, need to hope that you don't kill us. Because I remember getting killed by you before was not exactly the most fun time. And by the way, you can just bounce them indefinitely until they die, so... If you start to get the, uh, the action command where you bounce them up and down, it's pretty much over for them. Well, uh, most of the time it is. As long as uh, there's not really any uh, Heartless around or enemies, really. Or Goofy could just hold him up in the air with that one ability. That one ability that he's using there, the tornado ability, really, really good. In terms of just keeping enemies from attacking in junk. Uh, whether it will be good now or not. Oh, he's just gonna slide around on the floor. That's nice. And thank you, Goofy, for actually saving me from that uh, one heartless there. Goofy doing a very nice job. I want to assume Donald's doing a good job as well. Don't really know though, haven't seen anything too noticeable from him yet. But, Bonk. ow, we'll see. Oh no. Okay, didn't heal me yet. Oh, oh my goodness, please let me land on the ground. There we go, you're not getting me that time. Alright, let's deal with you now. Oh goodness, this health upgrade, it's... Well, not upgrade, increase, it's... Uh, it makes fighting just take so much longer. Go up there. Oh my goodness. I'll just go around. Uh, does this teleport me to the room? No, it doesn't. Okay. Still have another room of Heartless to defeat. Ow. I, I don't know what hit me there. Probably one of the other Heartless that I didn't see. Oh, right. Donald's magic is not all that useful here because enemies resist mag- well, some of the enemies resist magic in this world, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's not like we can really do much about that. Donald's main damage output is magic, so getting rid of his magic is basically him doing nothing, so... Yeah, that's probably not the best idea to do. And we remember seeing these hammer guys in, uh, Timeless River. Now they're actually in color. And speaking of the whole color thing, I don't rem I don't think I ever mentioned this, but in the, uh, since this is a Final Mix, uh, version, the color of the Heartless are different than normal. Um, I think these guys are red normally? I don't remember. They're either red or blue. I forget. But in the Timeless River world, you can't really tell the difference because everything's black and white, so that doesn't really matter. But... With the whole uh, color scheme thing, it doesn't apply to the nobodies. All the nobodies are still the uh, same color scheme. Which kind of makes sense because most of them are usually white and then will have some really pale color to go with it. What's wrong? Please, calm down. Calm down? <clears throat> you just had to have a party, didn't you? Don't you see what's happened? Hey, what's with you? The rose. My rose. What, that? He took it? But surely you can find another rose. Silence! You don't know anything! 
That's not fair, Beast. Don't take it out on Belle. It's not like she stole it. <sighs> I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. But... Belle... Sora... I want you to leave the castle. Look at me. Look. This is what I am. When you first got here, I tried to change. But I was only fooling myself. I can't be any different. I'll always be a beast. So I should live like a beast. With no one alone. Goodbye, Belle. You can't mean that. Oh, I think his mind's all made up. Yeah. Look, Belle, leave this to us. If we can get the beast's rose back, he'll calm down. Poor child. Sora being a very, very nice voice of reason. I like that side of Sora because they don't really show it off that often. How come, uh, how could it have come to this? And they were so looking forward to this evening. Now, now, no need to be so sad. Once the rose is back safely, this will all be over, implying we get it back. What's so special about one rose anyway? If the master can love and be loved in return, the spell will be broken. We'll all be human again. Yeah, you told us that. But there is a time limit. He must find his true love before the last petal falls from that rose. And if I'm correct, roses don't live very long, so... Yeah, the fact that it's magical is only really giving it just barely a bonus. Over time, caring for that rose has become a cherished part of the master's daily life. It's as though all his hopes and dreams are tied to that single bloom. Poor beast. Then we have to get it back. Please do. We can't without the beast though. If it's that important to him, he's gotta do it himself. Alright, let's go be the voice of reasoning again. And try to calm the beast down. And by the way, you might notice another absence of the wet over here. We can't really do that one because we need more abilities that we don't have so we're not gonna worry about that for now hey, beast. maybe later <sighs> leave me alone come on you need to hear this you used to be fearless you would have given your life to save bell don't you know what that meant to us you gave us all courage Sora especially maybe you should have kept some for yourself I mean, are you really going to throw your happiness away? The rose is your only hope, isn't it? Well, it's the only hope for Cogsworth and the others, too. So don't throw away your last chance. Remember what it was like before Belle lived here? See? You can't give up. Not now. I know one thing. What? This castle belongs to me. Zaldin will never be welcome here. Sora, given that inspiration, though, like, Sora does not give that much credit when it comes to that. Granted, it's mainly because of the later games, but at the same time, whenever he, when he can get it right, he gets it down to a point. All right, uh, I'm going to switch that out for that. I don't really need the rumbling rolls for the boss because, goodness, it's time to head on down to the boss. I might try and cut over there because there's not exactly much and yay, these enemies. This thing isn't completely annoying at all because of the constant fire attacks. There we go. It's dead. And they're just dealing with the other ones. Now, Donald's dead. <sighs> Donald, please. My goodness. Donald has not proven to be all that resourceful. I should probably switch him out for uh, 
uh, goofy to be honest, but at the same time, he could he could possibly use cure at a good chance. Oh my goodness, please stop. Okay, I need to run now. Actually, there we go. You are going to stop that. And thankfully, somehow the fire isn't hitting me during all this. Just gonna... There we go. Okay. Ow. That hurt. What? There's still more? Oh my goodness. Oh, whatever. Let's just use the rest of this form to get rid of them all. There we go. Uh, I might as well see the form. Why not? Uh, I don't remember how many ethers I had because if I did, I probably would have used one just now. But, meh, it's fine. I'm almost back to refilled uh, MP anyways. And I'm just going to use that on you. I really don't know what the number is until I uh, have to get the level up thing again. Let me check real quick. Eight. Hmm. Not that bad, actually. Problem is, it's not going to be all that useful because... Uh, how many more forms would that have to... Oh, okay. Well, I didn't get an extra one. That's nice. Uh, these guys are very, very annoying, especially when you don't have, like, your collection of abilities to use, and when one of your party members is dead half the time. Okay, honestly, I'm probably gonna switch them out whenever I, it is I can. Uh, I need to change that so that that just doesn't blow me up. Yeah, having two of these is really bad because look at the fire. This is just constant fire everywhere. I can't do anything. And they're only targeting me too, which makes it worse. Alright, get up you two. Oh goodness, not this thing too. Get this thing out of here. Uh, please don't explode all over me. There we go. Why aren't you dead? Oh my goodness, please, game. We need you to kill these things off. Really doesn't help that Donald can't really do much. Okay, let's worry about you, maybe. Um, I really don't know which one to deal with first here. Oh. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Okay, so I finally managed to deal with the Heartless. They are totally not annoying at all. The abundance of those stupid fire and... To be honest, the spike ball ones aren't that bad. It's mainly just the ones that can just spam fire for infinity. Kingdom Hearts. When Kingdom Hearts is ours, we can exist fully and completely. So you see, Beast, that's why we need your Heartless and your Nobody. By the way, I would try and do the Zalden voice, like, now. Problem is, I haven't done it in forever, so I don't at all know what it sounds like. <laughs> so I'm not gonna even try to do it because it's not gonna sound anywhere near the same as what I did before. So I'm just gonna butcher that horribly, so I'm not willing to do that. But let's just try and defeat these nobody turn out. I almost said heartless. But that is not at all what they are. Get over here. Alright, and one more left. Or not. Okay, I guess there's more. There's a dust or two. Can you two not? Oh my goodness. Get up. You two are so bad. Like, Beast, I expected more than you. Well, more from you. Donald, Donald's been doing this the entire game, so it's fine. But Beast, come on now. It's it's really sad. I don't have any form of competent team. Okay, Beast, switch out. Goofy, you are really useful. Goofy's, Goofy's like consistently useful, and I like that. He's consistent. He can be consistently good. Donald, he's consistently, like he's occasionally good when it comes to the heals, but like anything else, no. <laughs> he's just no. And it's really sad.
All right, let's go after him, even though we kind of should have just kept going, but everyone just stopped there and looked. Is that? Look, it's the rose. Oh. Hurry. And unfortunately, there are also a bunch of chests around here that I can't get because we're going into a boss now. And this boss is difficult to say the least. Watch me say that and I beat it first try, which I doubt. Get out of my castle now! With pleasure. But I'd rather travel light. What shall I leave behind? Bell or the rose? And now every single major bonus point that you had is now gone because you just got elbowed by Bell. But now you're going to try and get them all back as you absolutely destroy me, more than likely. Oh goodness. Time for Zelda number three, I believe, in the organization. I haven't kept track of some of the numbers in a good while, so could be wrong on that. But yeah, he has this whole windshield thing, and the way to break it is to use the jump thing, and hopefully it connects, which it did, thankfully. And then after that, you try and wail on him as much as you can, and hope that you don't die. <laughs> Let me get this, because I can. All right. Uh, that took forever to actually work. Okay, yeah, actually going into him doesn't really work all that well. It's not, it's a little difficult to actually be able to tell which one he's using, by the way. Because really the only way you are actually going to be able to notice is when it's too late. I'm trying to get the reaction command so that my jump can uh, be added, but this is one. Okay, I messed that up. Oh, I'm supposed to press triangle. I'm stupid. Well, not triangle. I'm supposed to press X. Whenever I'm using the jump, I have to press uh, X, not triangle. I don't know why I forgot that. There we go. Well, kind of. I messed up the first one, but it's fine because it's actually a little worrying because if you mess up, like, too. Well, if you do it too late, then he won't actually get staggered by the jump. And I didn't, uh, uh, what's the word? Oh goodness, he's starting to teleport now, and also the move. That's really bad, considering my health is this low. Okay, let's do that. He won't attack us yet. But now he has this wind thing, which is kind of impossible for me to dodge at this angle. So, I have to get extremely lucky, and it, okay. Thankfully, my sliding dash was good enough to withstand that. But now he's teleporting everywhere all over the place, and uh, things get really just worrying from here on out. Okay, let's just do that now. I have no time to try and work around anything. If I can get any form of advantage, I'm going to take it. Ow, stop it. Okay, <laughs> thankfully second chance, I believe is the ability I have, allows me to withstand all that, so. But trust me, a lot of people had a lot more trouble than I am right now on this boss. And you can actually get Mickey in this boss fight if you end up dying, but I just haven't yet. Okay, now, uh, can I kill? Actually, no, I don't think I can kill right now, especially if I knock him five miles away from me. Okay, I'm gonna do that for safety. Go. 
I can kill him now, I think. Yes, I can, because he's stuck there. Oh, come on. Uh, I, I really hate the last part of that uh, thing, because unfortunately, it lasts just long enough for them to not actually uh, continue being staggered by the attack. So, you know, they'll just fly out of it like he did just now. Uh, I can use infinity. This is fine. Or not. <laughs> or he could just knock me out of it. I want to see if I can land. Okay. There we go. Okay. I was really worried because I think I would have died if he hit me next. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But that might have added another part to the limit counter. I'm not sure. And actually, I'm pretty lucky because one thing... Surprisingly enough, I haven't gotten this one particular form yet that I've been hinting about the entire game, but uh, normally the actual chance of getting this form increases during bosses. Like, I think the chance of it gets du uh, double during bosses, and it gets quadrupled during organization bosses, or at least that's what I think. I remember seeing a video on that before. Don't completely take my words on that, but that just means that the number counter isn't too high so that would actually be realistic because there's one thing that I would be doing in Hollow Bastion before here so that makes a lot of sense actually what matters is you weren't hurt by Zaldin you're safe and um, I'm very grateful to you for bringing the rose back to me. Hmm. Thank you. It's the least I could do. You've been good to me, and you didn't have to be. Listen, Belle. Yes? <sighs> oh. Say it. Go on. Come on. You can do it. Donald's really hyped we about that for some this. reason. Don't be bashful, Mal. Well, I'd like you to stay with me, please. I will. My strong music. You know, random person editing the game. Just insert music here because we don't really. Did you see the look on Belle's face? Okay, this is actually kind of important. Hold on. Huh? Yup, she sure was having fun, all right. She's rather unique, isn't she? Always ready for a little adventure. Two of them do seem made for each other. Yeah, they sure do. Sorry about that, I was in an important call with my mom, so yeah, I kinda had to actually answer that, otherwise she would kill me. But, next episode, we're gonna be heading on into the Olympus Coliseum, or we... Actually, no, I remember, like, the last two things we need to do are in, like, later worlds. So, yeah, we're gonna be going to Olympus Coliseum next. But, until next video, take care.